that's something that we focus on a lot. Uh, you know, coming out here with a great enthusiasm and you know, new coaching staff and you know, getting the energy. It's the first practice, and we're trying to uh, build something here this year. And, you no know, guys, people, writers don't have us top in the nation right now, so we're trying to prove them wrong. Chris talked a little bit about how it's a bittersweet time. He's excited, but it's his last first practice. How do you feel about it? Are you really going to savor it? He says he wishes it goes like three hours. How long do you want it to be? Uh, I would say about around that time, too. Uh, with this coach, probably go a little longer. And I'm not mad. You know, it's the first practice, so we are trying to get to know each other. I think we've done that really well in our workouts before. Um, just trying to get the energy level up and the communication and, you know, the, the spirit here is very crucial. Here. And, you know, we got to bring this to the table. This is last year. So, Jamil, obviously there was a lot of speculation after Coach Dixon left and they brought in songs. What some of the guys like you, Mike, uh, Sheldon, Chris would do, would you transfer, would you enter the draft? What did – uh, Coach Stalling say that convinced you I want to be here for one more year? Um, well, me and him talked. You know, uh, I could have took a shot, but, you know, I wanted to stay for my last year. You know, I wanted to trust this coach. Uh, he wanted to – I seen Vanderbilt play a little bit, and I talked to the guys there, and they said, you know, trusted their system, and the coach was very good at using their players and putting them in the right position to score the basketball. And, you know, I wanted to be that for this year. And uh, last year, I couldn't bring the ball up the court like I wanted to, and I think right now I can show all my assets and my skills this year. Who did you talk to from Vanderbilt specifically? Um, I talked to the coaching staff. I didn't mm -hmm. really talk okay. to any players. Mm -hmm. um, like you said, the coaches mm -hmm. uh, let them play in, within the offense, you know, let them have a little bit of freedom, and that's what I would like. And Sheldon, uh, Cam said Sheldon was uh, pretty big too. Is that is he a big factor in trusting uh, Coach early on? Yeah, uh, Sheldon talked about him. He said he's a big factor in, you know, letting guys have that freedom and letting the guys play that game and not being too hard on them when they make a play or miss a uh, shot, it's the stuff like that. So I, I know I can trust them and I feel that trust right now. Jamel, when you're watching that tape, could you immediately see yourself in certain roles or think, wow, this is this is a good system for me? Yeah, I could. Their offense is pretty uh, spaced out and, you know, pick and roll game and stuff like that. And I think that's a good style and that's the transition to the NBA. So. Um, Using that system of play in the offense right now that we got in the skills and the skill players that we have on the court, I think that will transition into a good offensive team. Some of your teammates have talked about kind of a more strenuous training program um, this offseason. What was the biggest difference that you noticed compared to what you've done in the past? Say it again? Uh, the training program in the okay. offseason. Uh, the training was very at a high level this uh, summer. I think not saying our training last year didn't put us at a high level, but it was just a little different, I would say. Um, they put a lot of effort and communication and being on time and things like that. So I think this past summer we learned a lot in trying to be on time and putting everything that we got into uh, assignment and a drill. And I think that's going to help and pay off at the end of games. Sean said he feels like the conditioning paid off, that he's in better shape. Do you, do you feel Yeah, like I you definitely feel like I'm in better shape. Like I can run all day. So uh, <laughs> that's a good thing. You know, I got to be out there for an amount of time and, you know, I got to give it my all at every play. So I know I won't lack off a play this year, you know. Like this practice, three hours of practice, I probably won't get a sub. So, you know, we got to go out there and, you know, play hard every possession. Be proud of the strides Chris made uh, physically going, um, um, shedding a lot of weight, sort of getting into the best shape of his. Um, as a yeah. fellow senior, what do you think of that? Oh, uh, Chris Jones, yeah. he tremendous, tremendously um, changed his mm -hmm. uh, shape and got faster mm -hmm. and stronger. He was always strong, but I think he got stronger this past summer. Um, he can move well now. Um, and I think he can play his game. Mm -hmm. Coach is letting him play his game. You know, I can see him out here in drills. He's getting more confident. And I like that about Chris because Chris is a good player. And I don't think a lot of people know that about Chris. So I think this year we was it. Do you know, you've been vocal about how much you're embracing the new freedom under Coach Stallings. Do you feel like your teammates are the same way, that they're more comfortable? Yeah, I think every guy think they can have the freedom they want. But I think now, this year, guys know their roles. Um, of course, they're going to have uh, take shots that they – but they – Specifically, guys know their roles, and but yes, coach do give guys freedom, but specifically more than others, I would say. With uh, four seat, uh, with four seniors back, Jim Allen, with six of your all seven lane scores back, what do you think this team's capable of? Uh, putting the basketball in the room. I think uh, <laughs> we can be more faster. Uh, we don't have, like I said, big men, but we have faster guys, and I think our big men will beat. Uh, have a big man down the court, and our guards will get out in transition, and that's what Coach Thomas wants us to do, get it, get it out the rim and go fast down the other end and put pressure on the other defense. So this year I think we'll be a more fast break team. Yeah. 
Oh, okay, sorry. Oh, you know, I have to play for Coach Dixon for three years. What was, you know, how long did it take you to get adjusted to, uh, to a new coach? And for you, I guess, was maybe the most difficult aspect of that adjustment? Um, I think my second year, I, would, I think I got adjusted to Coach Dixon's system. Um, I'm not saying he's, he's a great coach. Uh, he won a lot of games, but I think sometimes you got to let guys play their skills and let them show their skills and let them have a little bit more freedom, like I said. And be and that, that make a guy more confident, you know, not being yelled at all the time, you know. Not saying Coach Starlings don't yell, but he's tried it. He, he put it in a different way. I don't know how to say it, but he put it in a different way. With uh, Stallings, so about how long did it take to kind of get adjusted to how he ran things? So what was the most difficult? Um, in the summer, in the drills, uh, team workouts, I would say. Um, even though when I was out here shooting around, he would, you know, come uh, come over and say a little joke here and there, and I think I think that's uh, pays a lot to a player. So, is it a little more relaxed in the sense that you feel like if you make a mistake, you're not coming out that you can play through it? And then... No, when I make a mistake in practice, he yells at me. I'm not going to say he don't. He yells at me, but uh, I think I feel more comfortable. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna make mistakes. You know, everybody's gonna make mistakes, but I think. Uh, he gets on me harder than anybody because he wants me to not to make mistakes. So I think that's a challenge for me. For the fans, how different is this team going to look than what they've seen before? Uh, we're going to be more faster, like I said. We're going to be up and down. Um, guys is going to uh, you know, take shots that you think might be tough. So uh, that's, that's kind of fun, I think. Uh, not trying to play a style-paced offense and not trying to you know, take the shot clock all the way down to five then forcing up a shot. So I think we're going to be more faster and get the ball in the rim a lot. Now, do you think playing the point can help not only help the team but help show off to like scouts for the NBA your versatility and what you could do? With the yeah, team? like I said, I wish I could have done this two years ago. Um, but you know, now I think this will help the house scouts and you know reporters, and uh, they're gonna show all my skills. And I think that's best for other people and my teammates too. Uh, I can get them open, you know, um, also get them shots and get them places where they need the basketball. You know, if the shot clock's running down, you're at the top of the key, you have the ball. Do you prefer? to get a screen, or do you feel like you're more comfortable without the screen making moves on your own? I prefer not a screen. Um, I think I can get, uh, go past my defender. Uh, if a defender collapsed, I can kick it out, and you know, that person can shoot the basketball. But I would prefer not a screen, I would say. How many moves do you think you have in your pocket right now for that for that that situation? You're at the top of the key. Um, I don't know. I think I really don't. Have a specific move. I think if a player, if the shot clock is going down, I know I'm gonna make a play. I'm gonna go by them, my defender, you know, make a basketball play. So that's what I think. Speaking of the shot clock running down or the game clock running down, last second, you're bringing the ball up now as a point guard. Are you gonna look to make the pass for who are you gonna pass it to, or do you want to take that shot? It, de it depends how the defense. I gotta see the defense. I can't really say I'm gonna take the shot or I want to take the shot, but you know, I gotta see the defense. How they collapse to me. If they just play me one on one, then I'm gonna go by the defender and make a play.